Hi, my name is Anil Nair and I'm an aerospace engineering student here at UCLA. And I'm going to help you by going over some math concepts and examples. Good luck. I'm going to do a 3 by 3 matrix. And in this case, can't use closure rule, so we're going to have to actually do this out. So we want to find the inverse of this. So we're going to have to use row reduction to do that. So we do that, let's be make an argument matrix uh, with the matrix in question on one side and the identity on the other side. And now we just row reduce. So first thing we do is we want to go zero here. So take R2 minus R1, which gives us zero, one, one, negative one, one, zero, and the bottom row is unchanged. Then we take R3 minus R1, so we can get a zero here. That gives us zero, negative two, zero, negative one, zero, one. And now we already have a one here, so we're going to get a zero there. And we do that by taking R1 and subtracting two of R2. That gives us one, zero, negative one. 3, negative 2, 0. And now we want 0 here. So we're going to take R3 and add 2 of R2 to it. That's going to give us 0, 0, 2, uh, negative 3, 2, and 1. And now we want to get a 1 here. So we're going to scale that row by 1 half, which will give us. Zero, zero, 001 on the bottom, negative 3 halves, 1 and 1 half. And now we want to clear the um, space above it, so we want a 0 here. So we're going to take R2 Oh, we're going to take R, let's get this one first, top row. We're going to take R1 and add R3 to it. We get one zero zero um, three halves negative one one half and the other rows are unchanged. Now we just got to get a zero here. So we take R two, subtract R three from it. And now we get one zero zero. So just do it. Okay, this row we get one zero one. And then we get one half zero negative one half. And now that we have the identity matrix on this side, um, the inverse is on this side. So the inverse to our original matrix equals three halves negative one one half one half zero negative one half 
and negative 3 halves, 1, 1 half. Honey.